All right, so it's uh, October 2019, and I just want to get a little information out uh, on the, our latest Masco 5000. We've been uh, mounting the 5000 sweeper uh, in the last couple of years on the cab chassis vans made by both Ram and Ford. This latest one is on the Ford Transit with the dual wheels. It comes with uh, either a single rear axle or a dual. And the biggest difference with the Ram is that would be a rear wheel drive. The Ford is a rear wheel drive. The Ram is front wheel drive. Uh, basically the same truck. The Ram has a little bit tighter turning radius. Uh, one thing about these vehicles, they are a special order, so it takes uh, a couple of months to get them. They just do not carry them in any form in the dealer. So that's that's one downside. Uh, but, you know, I say that because it's uh, important to know that this vehicle sells. It's a one ton, and it sells for within a couple hundred bucks exactly the same as an F-150 or... A Silverado so you get about 20 inches more cab to axle width is what I'm looking at right now so that's quite a bit more vehicle for the same amount and for me that has uh, also a lot of advantages these are commercial vehicles the, uh, oh, got my about ready to go pick up my kid uh, they're very simple on the inside. They are not weighed down with a lot of the stuff that people are demanding in pickups today. Um, you know, it has a pretty comfortable cabin area. Um, you know, all the stuff you need for doing commercial work is obviously what these vehicles are designed for. So they have quite a bit of options. And, you know, if you order one, you can get it you know, with any of the options you want, which is not usually the case with half-ton pickups, but all comes down to payload. You know, with the added uh, capacity and space behind the cab, you know, we, we can run the 5,000 sweeper, which is a five-yard hopper, and a 30-inch fan, and a uh, 2.5-liter four-cylinder, pretty powerful engine, pretty big fan allows you to run pretty low RPMs uh, so you can be really quiet or have a lot of engine longevity or if you need to turn it up you can crank this thing up to 23 30 inch fan that's that's quite a bit of power you know get through a, a difficult situation and uh, always nice to have power capacity on hand um, so this is basically just a big version of the 1600, a bigger fan, a bigger motor, and a bigger hopper. All the important things. It's a very simple sweeper, single broom, rear head. You have all the advantage of a rear head where you're saving on flats and easy uh, access to the, the head when it needs servicing. You know, mostly everything stainless steel except for the you know the heavy parts of the lift inside or underneath the hopper there the the scissor lift is still all made out of structural steel this is the Ford MSG 2.5 very price friendly engine really doesn't cost but a couple hundred bucks to step up to this from a 1.6 so this uh, has a really good torque range for running at 12 to 1500 RPMs. You know, 1600 RPMs, this engine is in a, in a great torque range. This uh, is one of our new hydraulic systems, which actually runs a hydraulic broom lift where we've always run uh, an electric actuator, and we're getting away from that and using hydraulics now, and that's looking pretty promising cost is a little bit better the longevity should be a lot better all aluminum engine quite a bit lighter than some of the other brands actually 
some of the 1.6s, this engine comes in 100 pounds lighter. So that was that's good. Got a new air filter system on this one, which is a Donaldson Duralite. It's disposable. You can see where it clamps onto the two inch pipe there. You take this filter out and change it, and your whole filter is brand new, except for that metal band that holds it in place. I like that because it's a lot better than the two piece systems where you have a cap out here on the back, which can either be lost or broken, and that leads to an engine failure probably faster than anything else. You can see this setup's pretty durable. Uh, you got the T-bolt clamp here. Uh, you're clamping right onto this stainless steel pipe. You got one rubber coupler in here. Um, so there's, you, know, you're, you got a, a brand new air filter and housing each time you change this. That's pretty easy to do on Amazon or from any dealer. We buy them on Amazon all the time hydraulics and everything on here are just basically all the same stuff on our 1600 so it's pretty easy to run and manage same as our other equipment just just a little bit bigger and uh, a little bit stronger so inside here on the control panel you know, we have a uh, um, you know all the same controls as the 1600 this one has a dial throttle, do a dial or a tap up, tap down, either way. We use the Murphy display, displays uh, all of your engine information, it's very simple, very compact. I like that setup a lot. One new thing that we tried on this is, uh, this is our vacuum enhance, and this runs uh, an exhaust port on the fan housing, and I'll open it up now. And we'll go around the other side and take a look at it. I run a couple extra lights on this unit uh, compared to um, the 1600 where we usually just run these two lights here. Run an extra light on this side to light up the storage area. Uh, I have a, a small water tank or a 1600 water tank in this one. Obviously we can go quite a bit bigger. I think I have a 100 gallon that fits in here as well. I kind of like the smaller water tank, a little better for lot sweeping. This is the vacuum enhance on any air sweeper. You know, dealing with a little extra pressure up underneath the head is always an issue. Sweeping leaves or, um, or you know, or uh, light uh, material that that's can be susceptible to blowing around you can open this up and have a tremendous amount of suction really increases the amount of suction that the head has there's no pressure up under the head it's almost pure suction it'll pull the front flap right in it really works good for leaves um, you can use this as a blower and you know blow to the side I'll move it by hand here just to kind of demonstrate that would be all the way closed. You can see the cable on it right here. You know, this is our standard throttle cable that you know we've used over the years. So very simple, very easy. Um, got a little deflector on here to keep the dirt out of the um, off of the sweeper. Have a a sprayer underneath here to run quite a bit of water if you're concerned about some pressure or uh, some dust. You know from that uh, the. You know, it's like a pressure relief or a vacuum enhance. Kind of works the same way. So that you can use that to, uh, you know, blow leaves out in this direction to kind of help your sweeping path or just use it as a vacuum enhance. It's adjustable so you can adjust the spray to be, you know, down here a little bit closer or all the way out. Look at the exhaust system right in here, it's very compact, very simple. I put a storage unit on this one. This is obviously optional. And uh, kind of some of our other standard stuff is the hopper, five yards. At the high mount lights, these are the Ford lights. Use all the, uh, those are the lights that come with the truck, so very simple, inexpensive. Uh, new urethane 
hoses on uh, all of our sweepers now, nearly indestructible. The spare tire mounted in a really convenient place. You have a lot of extra space on this truck, really gives you something to work with. And give us a call, 1-800-345-1246. Look us up on the internet at uh, mascosweepers.com. Appreciate your time. Thank you.